This is the time to figure it out, to know how you want your purpose to align with your life. So it's not a job and then I get to have a life. And the job is hard work and you dread getting up and you have to go and either you don't like it or maybe you like it a little, but then you get a couple hours at night and you get a couple of days on the weekend, that's, that's fun. If you figure out what your purpose is now and you align it with your life, you will be guided so easily. Even the hard decisions will be easier because you know what's important to you and you've already made peace with that and you are already living the way you were meant to live from your heart. There were a lot of those days where I really doubted what I wanted to do and I really didn't know how I was going to get any support or how I was going to make this work. All I knew was everything in my body was telling me, go this way, go, go there. You'll figure it out. Don't know how, but you're going to figure it out. And my brain was telling me, you are crazy. You are absolutely out of your mind. What are you going to do? How are you going to make things work? You're, you're alone with this mortgage. You can't make any money doing this. After time, that battle, the brain started to realize she's serious. She's really going to do this thing. I'm pretty smart. I'll help. And there's that shift, that magical shift that your brain says, okay, I can help. And your heart just breathes a sigh of release and says, good. So there were so many things along the way that were really scary. I'm not going to tell you there weren't any sleepless nights. There were tons of them. There was crying. There was worry. I was hiding things from my bosses. I was praying not to be fired. I almost got fired. Lots of honest stories in, in my book about what happened along the way. But somewhere along the way, I got signs, and I know that when you find your purpose, and it has nothing to do with having to be a nonprofit, there's nothing to do with that, it just has to do with what you love, whether it's dance, whether it's running for office to change things, whether it's advocacy, whether it's writing, whatever it is that your body and your soul says, this is joyful, this is what I want to do, this is what I was meant to do things will fall into place and your brain will get on board no matter how far it is because she is a woman that changes the world and when I thought only people like her and Einstein and Deepak Chopra found their purpose I was all I was all wrong we all have a purpose we all know what we're supposed to be doing because it doesn't matter what it is you're making a contribution and people will feel the love and the joy you have, for whether, you're, whether you're singing, whether you're teaching, whether you're dancing, whether you're writing, whatever you're doing, you will share that. If you bring in, if you slide in whatever your purpose is, even an hour a week, it will change you. It, especially now after the pandemic, we've all pushed whatever's been on the back burner further back, right? When there's money, when I'm retired, when, when, when. That's heartbreaking to see it that far back. Bring it up an hour a week. Just join a choir. Just take a course. Do something that fills that void that you know what you want to fill it with. And you will feel that joy and others will too. It will, it's contagious. The human connection is an incredible and invisible magical instrument.